You know it's a big game when you spot Doha News at this Golden Stadium. Saudi Arabia is about to take on Mexico right here in Lusay. More than 80,000 spectators are expected tonight alone. And so far, most of the matches at the FIFA World Cup have been at full capacity. Just a year ago, such scenes were rare to see. But with global restrictions lifting as COVID cases decline, this World Cup marks the first major get-together. <laughs> Two years ago, no one can go out, but now with this big event, we forget about Corona. <laughs> but Qatar, the success to bring everyone here. Well, I think now it's so much different. In the pandemic, there were so so many restrictions, and now it's fine. I think. Ah, well, it, it's it's amazing because two two years we were uh, in in our house, we couldn't uh, outside, and then. We, we came to the World Cup, all the people uh, stayed together, everybody's happy. Hatul Mexiki! Kiki, Kiki! Hatul Mexiki! Vamos Mexico! Medina, Medina, Minko Medina. Yeah, we are very sad and we are happy to be in Doha. All the Mexican fans are super happy cheering for the team, but uh, the team didn't develop the same game that we did today in the previous two, and I think we should have done better. Mexico is a country where the soccer is part of our culture and also it's part of our heart. Go Mexico! 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 When I see like an Arabic country do all, all these things, it, make, it makes me proud as an Arab person. Yeah, I mean, I, think I forgot about COVID like years, a year ago. I, I don't even, that doesn't even cross my mind. I think it's all football now. I mean, when the World Cup comes, they could be like aliens invading. And we were like, nah, I just gotta go to the game. The Saudi Falcons failed to take flight this evening with a 2-1 loss against Mexico at Lusail Stadium. The journey of both teams may have ended here, but both are going home with an epic run at the world's biggest sporting event, which has brought hundreds of thousands of fans together in Qatar.